This is Jet with Pop Austin Media, and I got hip hop artist Bob Cortez in the building. How's life, man? Pretty good, man. You know, trying to do what we got to do, letting this music go. Just okay. working. For sure. Continue to work. For sure. I bet. Let's start from the beginning, though. Where are you originally from? I'm from Warden, Texas. It's like, I say about 45 minutes south of Houston. Okay. It's country. We country yeah. boys. Country yeah. boys. Okay. But I moved to Austin in uh, 2019. Okay. So I've been here for a couple of years. So, real quick, how was childhood out there? And we'll talk about, you know, what brought you to Austin. Uh, I say regular, you know, you know, country man, life. Yeah, country life, you know, little trouble, you know, sports, things like that. What kind of uh, what, what sports you play? I play football, really. Okay, yeah, being from Texas, yeah, I, already knew, yeah. I already knew, but sometimes <laughs> you can't just predetermine though. From yeah, Texas, for sure. like a, it's like a right of passage. Especially in the country. Mm hmm. And yeah. in the Houston area too. Yeah, they take it serious. Around that area, you yeah. know, that whole thing. Exactly. Houston. Did Austin. you play all four years? Yeah. Football? Yeah, I played all four. Well, I played all sports, but my senior year, I ain't played basketball. Okay, you, you you was just focusing. Well, they they normally do that, that especially yeah, yeah, like the yeah, last yeah, I was going to college for football, so I ain't want to risk that. Okay, and it, did you end up? Did you end up going? Yeah, 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 I did. How many years did you do there? Uh, I was there two years, but uh, I ended up getting in a little trouble, you know. So ended up leaving school. So so what college did you go to? Texas A and M Commerce. Okay, okay, yeah. dang. So then what? So what? What got you? Can you talk about <laughs> what got you to trouble? Just wilding out, fight, whatever, whatever, or what? Nah, not really like that. Um, or that somebody that can can get you caught up. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was, I'm gonna be real. It was more like weed. You know, oh, weed yeah, that's a damn shit. Yeah, I'm not saying a thing, but it's like, yeah. man, right, go. <laughs> they'll let you take them pills though after the yeah. games. After you messed up, they don't care about that. Yeah, yeah. Dang. So then you. So is that what made you come to Austin? After uh, after that, nah, nah, nah. Um, I came to Austin like maybe like four years after that, four or five years after that. And what brought you here? Um, my uh, son's mother, he's from out here, so that's what I originally came out here for. So, okay, you know, I just started lingering in. I was already doing music, so so what? I'm what... lingering in with the rap scene, you know. Okay, yeah, because I mean it is popping. It's definitely now. It's really popping. So you know, you came around a good time. What um. What um what got you into music though? Uh oh, I ain't gonna lie. I always like music. You know, I always like even when I was little, I write little shit, but I never like would take it serious. I just like write little shit to myself and be like, yeah, that's hard. Like, but I just started doing it like I say like about the, a little bit before I came to Austin, like twenty eighteen. I started doing shows where I'm from. So okay, yeah, you started. That, yeah, started I started roots. feeling it after that. So yeah, that's when I really just started bucking down and making music. Cause you know, like, there's only so much you can do yeah. out there, unfortunately. Gonna, but you yeah. still gonna rap it. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you limited. You limited. You limited for sure. It, you know, so yeah, you gotta you gotta man. come to a yeah. a big you know yeah. media outlet. And Austin is like a uh, like a outgoing city. You know what I'm saying? Oh like yeah, a welcoming city. So and it's and it's growing yeah, too, especially so, when so. it comes into the music scene and for just sure. a bunch of different things. All the people yeah. coming out here now. Yeah, it's for insane. Sure. Who's your inspirations? Uh, Any like particular artists that inspired you, or you listened to a lot growing uh, up? Well, I say uh, nobody really. I wouldn't say they inspire me. More like ins inspiring, I would say my family, like my uncles, my pops, you know, people like that. But yeah, I, I jammed a couple people growing up, like like Chief Keef. I was on them hard growing up. Okay. Uh, Future, okay. Migos, okay, uh, Moneybag. I like Dirt, Moneybag. People like that. Okay. Cool. Um, do you remember your first uh, studio session? Yeah, it was. Uh, Talk on that. Uh, I really thought I was doing my thing too, but man, <laughs> it was it was some bull. <laughs> it was some, I get that a lot. Though. I mean, it's always gonna be nah, some bull. You gotta bull. get. You gotta fill like, it out. Like, I really thought I was doing something too, and like now I look back and like damn. But I mean, it was cool. Like I never been the type to get nervous about. You know what I'm saying? Like I always like approach it with like a confident. You know, so. My first session was just like, let's hurry up and do it. You know what I'm saying? Let's hurry up and do it so I can see how I sound. Get it I was, out the yeah, way. I was real eager to just like, come on, so that I just want to see how I sound. Did you drop like three bars? Hey, let me hear that now. <laughs> no, nah, I actually ran. I actually ran through it. Oh, okay, you did. Yeah. You dropped it. I yeah. do that a lot. Like I just run through them. I don't really. I mean, I started doing uh, punch-ins probably like last year. I started fucking around with the punch-ins, but usually I 
It's good for breath yeah. control, especially yeah. like when you're on stage that you can, so. you know, one take them so you don't have to. <laughs> hey, and yeah. then you like when people jump, you can always tell when people jump in. Yeah. Be like, oh, he punched that one in. <laughs> it's like you got if you, if you punch it in, you got to punch it in right. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> they be like mid bar and then the bar comes in. You like, hey. <laughs> like, like I'll rock with it. Yeah. Is what it is. But he better get Man, that right on the it, Yeah. Better get that right when he performs it. No, for real. That is funny. Uh, then you, you're speaking of that, your first show. Uh, my first show is where I'm from. Uh, well, you, was, well, you said you were doing shows. In, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like your first show out there, yeah, how was, was that? And then how was your first show in Austin, though? So um, my first show in Austin was with uh, my partner. I do music with out here too. His name King Savage. Mm -hmm. Shout out to him. Yeah, if you ever heard of him, yeah. He uh, he had put me on the show that he was doing. He was promoting at the time. So I think it was on Sixth Street. At, uh, was it Poor Choices? Poor okay. Choices. So. Yeah, I did that. It was a nice little crowd, so I knew off the rip, like, I could rock with it. You know, if you got good music, mm -hmm. they're going oh, yeah. to fuck with it. So after that, I was just like, okay, let's go. Dope. Um, so where did the uh, name Bob Cortez come from? Uh, Cortez, like, on some really, like, on some personal shit. The Bob come from, like, that's, like, that's me, my partner. That's all, you know, it's going to stand for brothers over partners. Oh, okay, I like that. Yeah, so Bob for sure. All right, cool. So that, that you just put them together. And then what is a uh, LLT two X? Uh, Can you speak on that? Yeah, uh, I lost two partners. Um, one of them was in uh, Prairie View University. Oh man. Yeah, he got killed out there. He got shot in the head. Uh, oh, his name was Tristan. So yeah. Um, R.I.P. Yeah, for sure. Damn. And then my other partner, uh, his name was Trey. He got killed uh, where I'm from too. So he. So LLT, Long Little Tristan, all that, LL, you know. Just curious, I saw yeah. that on the Instagram. I mean, I long thought Little that Tristan, Long Little Tristan, okay. that's why the two times. That's the, oh yeah, that's not dope that, but that's dope that you, you're still yeah. rapping for them. Man, that's, God, dog. Um, okay, I think I saw another one. Give me one second, I heard that. And then who, oh yeah, yeah that, that was actually a question I had next, I'm tripping. Uh, Free Millie. Can you speak yeah, on that? Yeah, that's my uh, that's my homie. Uh, his name was Emilio, but uh, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, for sure. I was gonna say shout out, yeah, yeah, Millie, yeah, Millie, let's go. So, uh, he got uh, he in prison right now, you know, on a little bit, thirteen years. So, damn, we hoping for him, you know, come up for parole. So, free Millie, yeah, free Millie for sure. Let's get it. So, uh, all right, one thing, I could be wrong. It, so there's uh, the list going around. You seen the list? The yeah, hip-hop list? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, the one with Austin. Yeah, 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 yeah What yeah. are you thinking about the list? And I don't think, and this is not no shade, I'm just wondering, how come they didn't put, they don't look like Bob Cortez got on there? Uh, and then like, be what's your I'm thoughts on real, the list? Um, I'm not from Austin, so I don't really, I don't really consider myself as, you know, an artist coming from Austin. I feel like, you know, I just moved here. True. So, I mean, I do a lot of shows out here. I do a lot of stuff, you know, but, you know, I wasn't really too messed up about it. It would have been different. It would have been a list from back home where I'm from. Yeah. And I wouldn't know. I would be like, oh, okay, yeah, I got to say, yeah. So that's different. But Austin, I wasn't, I, you know, and plus everybody got their own opinion. No, oh, yeah, for sure. I, I'm so, just curious, yeah. you know, because like I said, I interview people that is and isn't. And like I said, there's so many artists out here that it's easily to miss people. Just sure. because, except right now, because sure. there's like a big influx of just like, especially in the, in yeah, the hip hop. growing for sure. And I, but I mean, and that, that's a good thing at the end of the yeah. day. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just always in interested to hear about that. You think King Savage should have been on there? Uh, Let me pull the list back up. Uh, I would say as far as, as far as things you, like, if, I'm going to say as far as accomplishment, accomplishments in yeah. Austin. Yeah. Hell yeah. Like, he done a lot of shit. He even threw a show with Quinn, Lil Tuzi, and Sauce Walk, you know. It's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff he done done. Big time. He got two songs, I think two, three songs with Quinn, uh, a song with Tuzi, a song with Lil Flip, you know. I see his name a lot out yeah. there, so especially, so. I thought it was kind of, I was kind of like, what the world? Yeah, He's yeah, yeah, here? that's why I say people got their own opinion. They got their own opinion. But, you know, and I know the person who made the list, and he knows I'm not from Austin, too, so. Mm. Damn. So, um, what about uh, South By? 
South by plans this year. I know, uh, yeah, I know, yeah, cause we, we, I mean, heck, it's been two years now since South by's. Yeah. You know, now we every, I know it's about to go crazy, and it looks like it's more geared to, towards artists out here. Yeah, toward there's yeah. A, of course there's gonna be some you know big artists that's you know from you know global, but for you know for the city there's a lot of of, of looks for you it's know be, those yeah, artists. Be a good look for sure. I think so. So like, talk about that. Uh, let's see, we lined up for like three shows already, you know, and I'm gonna do one with King Savage too. Dope. So, but I'm lined up for two shows by myself already. So, looking forward to that, and I'm trying to currently get on more of them. So, oh, you mean like I said, it's gonna be you know really gearing up too, you know, since it's like right around the corner. Yeah, exactly. So within the next couple of weeks, exactly. you're probably gonna eventually, you know, what I'm saying exactly get more. Um, dope. And you talk about Savage. Talk about the Bob Savage. It looks like y'all had a. Yeah, we a did collab a collab tape uh, together. Yeah, we did a mixtape together. Uh, Talk about that. Uh, yeah, man, like that was, that was hard. Like it was, it was crazy because he wasn't really rapping at the time. He was just going, you know, he had a studio, but he wasn't really rapping. He was just letting people get in, you know, just doing his thing. But then he really started. Once I started showing him some of my song, some of my songs, you know, he started, you know, like yeah, I really, I'm, let me get on some of that. You know what I'm saying? And once he did, it was like yeah. People really click with it. That's dope. What do you think needs to happen for Austin to hit that next level, though? Like, you know how Atlanta hit that, you know, their wave. Um, you know, I, of course, you got L.A., which I think L.A. is starting to kind of go, mm, even yeah. though it still has got its, its, you know, whatever out there that they got going on in the sense of all the, you know, the big wig entertainments. But, like, what do you, what do you think that needs to be, you know, Austin artists needs to do? To, to to move to that next level. Uh, first, well, that's I would, a loaded first, question, but yeah, first, nah, first I would say connections, man, networking. Like, I'm not, I ain't trying to say it to be funny, but like, don't just think Austin. You know what I'm saying? Think outside of Austin. You know, think Houston, think Dallas, think San Antonio. Any you know, any place you can try to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's like that's the main thing I try to do. You know what I'm saying? Last year I went to like five different states. You know, doing like a little promo, doing show. We did a show. In, me and King Sad, we did a show in uh, Milwaukee. Oh, dope! Like, it was random. You know, yeah, we extra. Don't even, we don't even have no fans out there, but we just, you know, it was in a strip club too. <laughs> Going just, crazy, we cold out. in the mud. Yeah, we rocked out though. That's but dope. I would say, yeah, uh, connections, and then uh, I say people supporting it more. You know what I'm saying? I, I think in Austin, a lot of people see things and they don't be. You know, I ain't gonna say they wouldn't support it, but they're not just behind it like you know what i'm saying a lot of artists need support you know so is it is it like more streams is it more um i guess going more to the show i was about to say that too yeah really shows too though you know that's how that's the main way you get seen you, mm -hmm. know, you know if you can take up your city first that's that's the, you know that's a good step mm -hmm. so i would say a lot of yeah shows you know trying to do shows on sixth street you know around there anywhere you can you know network with people you know try to find promoters who are some uh, other austin artists you would like to collaborate with uh, <coughs> sorry right now i'll say um if anybody it'll probably be quinn you know Duh. try to get something in with bro you know you know he, he dope with it no yeah you know, like, he's like nice, he nice with it i like his style uh, Anybody else you listen to out here? Um, my 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 bro, uh, the one I mentioned earlier, earlier Frosty, he put mm -hmm, me on yeah. uh, the, I think his name OTM Threats. Yeah, OTM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. He put me on him, and he yeah, he nice with it too. Yeah, have him coming. Like, yeah, pause. We have him come to the studio tomorrow, but yeah. Yeah, he nice with it. Dope. Uh, what do you? What's one thing? Go ahead. No, you good. I thought you were about to go. Uh, what do you? What is one thing you like and dislike about Austin? Start with what you I like. I say one thing I like is it's more like, to sound crazy, like it's more friendly, not friendly, but like more outgoing than where I'm from. You like know that, what I'm saying? Yeah, like I remember where you I'm saying from, that. it's more like you got to kind of be alert, you know, stay on your, you know, out, out here you can kind of, you know, ain't nobody, it's not too much bad in it, you know, you got to really go look for the bad energy out here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, Be in the wrong places yeah, with the wrong, you know yeah, doing wild and so, out, yeah. That's one thing I like about Austin. And then uh, I say, one thing I don't like, uh, uh, number one, the traffic. 
Oh yeah, you don't get that now. That's <laughs> crazy. Traffic, but nah, uh, especially all the different things that's going on. Yeah. Like every week, there's something going on. You're like, what? What's going yeah. on this week? Oh, this? What the world? Yeah, but nah. But then again, I say, uh, I don't think artists like try to work with each other as much. You know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to do, you know, kind of doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. It's you know, it'll be a little bit easier if people, you know, start coming. You know, on some connecting between Austin. You know, mm -hmm. that might, you know. They don't really do that out here, so I say it. I, I agree with that. You made me think about some. Um, so you say you're traveling. Have you been to any weed states where it's legal? Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? I went to Cali and I went to Arizona. That was that was crazy. It's like a candy store when yeah, you walk up crazy. in there. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. See, Cali, that shit was everything I thought it would be. Like you know, all the weed, like everything. It was everything I thought it would be. Arizona. It was it was a little iffy. I mean, it had some good weed, but it was a little iffy. Like you had to really shop, you know, look for mm -hmm. it. And Cali is first dispensary you go to. You like it's everything you need. I think it'll be Cali, maybe one, and then Colorado two. I think I could be wrong. Heck, it might be Colorado one because of the altitude. Um, How do you feel about the the rise in like um, beef in the hip hop industry? Yeah, uh, you know, I mean, there's been a lot of you know deaths, um, yeah. especially in 2021. Yeah, so how do you feel about that being a rapper yourself? Uh, you mean as far as like rappers dying? Yeah, yeah as far like as golf. rappers beefing and really taking it serious and I'll really, say, you know, man, because you can't. I, I'll say the main thing is, man, like I want like get out your home, get out your hometown. That's how I look at you know, even if it's not like leave for good, you know, you can come back and but. I think it's just get out of your hometown, man. Like, that's kind of crazy, you know. I think the main goal is to get away from where you're from. I mean, if it's bad or if it's, you know, something that you're not really, you know. But, yeah, I say the main thing is, man, that in the home, because most of them die in their hometown. What did, did Dolph die in his hometown? Yeah, he died. He in did Memphis. get in the, at the cook, getting yeah, the damn cookie. That's cooking, what I'm bro. saying. Like, God, you damn. can't really, you know, once you to a certain stature, you can't really. It's sad to say, but you can't really move like. Like a regular person, no more. So Draco too. I mean, Draco's from LA, but, but he, he got, got him in LA, LA too. Like yeah. Nipsey yeah. Hustle, Nipsey, Nipsey, oh yeah, Nipsey, like, X, 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 like God damn, damn. all in their own crib. I mean, home, that's a god dang shame, you know what bro. I'm saying. Only one was Pac in uh, Vegas, yeah, and then man. Biggie in LA or wherever he was. God dog. And I say, man, if you is in your hometown, just move, move proper. You got to move proper, man. Like. For sure, like, yeah, you know what people are, you know, move proper, man. Look at Gucci, turned his whole life around. Yeah. Gucci good in Atlanta, he ain't yeah. got to worry about <laughs> nothing. Although, ain't nobody yeah. trying Gucci. He's on yeah. that list, ain't nobody yeah. trying Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, you got any upcoming projects that we can look out for? Uh, yeah, I got a lot. I got a lot of shit I'm be dropping this year, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to drop no uh, mixtape for a couple months, but I'm going to drop a couple singles, like four or five singles in the next, like, three months, you know, in between the next three months. Yeah, so that's gonna be hot. And I'm having a video to them, everything, so. Awesome, so you got the visuals yeah. to go for and all that. Dope, dope, yeah. dope. Uh, where can we find you on social media and on the uh, digital streaming platform? Uh, Ed Bob Cortez, on everything. On my IG, Ed Bob Cortez, Spin Rilla, everything. Apple Music, Spotify, you know, Bob Cortez. You got the, the merch? You wanna give it to him out there? Yeah. Yeah, go get it. <laughs> um, one more question. What do you see yourself in five years while he's getting the merch? And then we'll get him. Mm, five years, I see myself at the top of my game. You know what I'm saying? Like, really at my peak. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm looking for. You know what I'm saying? Turning it up. Yeah, the sky's the limit, but I feel like that's around that time I'm going to be, you know, Everything I feel like every, I'm gonna have everything I need to develop myself to where I'm trying to get to. Dope, dope. I see that, and then we got some merch for y'all guys too. So, hey so, man, I appreciate love. you coming through, man. Um, you got any any other questions? Appreciate you coming through, man. Hey, we're gonna be on the lookout for all that you got going on. Kill it for South by. You know what I'm so, saying? This is the time for everybody to go crazy for the you know for Austin. So hey, this is Jet. I'm gonna pop off some media. And I'm signing out, Bob Cortez.